All right, YouTube. Now we're back. We're going to play a little bit of Grixis uh, mid-range. This is the deck that got second at the uh, at the um, Moto Challenge, or the Moto PTQ. Excited to play this deck. I love Nikki B. I wanted to play Nikki B in a deck for a while, and I hope I hope there's a Nickel Bolas deck. Nickel Bolas is just like too cool to not see play, in my opinion. And I really like the card in Ocean Rain a lot. Like I like I like Notion Rain more. I like Notion Rain more than Chemistry's Insight, which is like I think I think their control decks can like the Esper control deck might be a little better if it adapts Notion Rain because it's just cheaper. Like you don't get the explosive like you know, but like everyone always plays into your four mana draw to. So I want to try a deck. I would like to try an Esper build that just doesn't play Chemistry's Insight and plays Notion Rains. And then has less clunk on the four drop slot. Or because Notion Rain makes so you can go like Notion Rain plus Essence Scatter, Notion Rain plus Cast Down on turn two. So I, I want to try a, like an Esper build that's paired that's around Notion Rain. Let me update my stream decker. My decks. All right, we should be ready to go now. And we will keep this. We got a piece of one man interaction, two man interaction, then we got a card to follow up. This Thief of Sanity. If this thing makes it, it's going to be pretty solid. Did you get Golden Demise in the main deck of his Thief of Sanity deck? Did I just, like, not register that right? Okay, so I'm just going to deadweight this to use my mana and then play a tap land. Because we're, we're, we're just guaranteed. We want to attack with Thief of Sanity for the rest of the game. Does he really have Golden Demise in this deck? That's a good one. Yeah, I mean, we're just going to play this. And get this into play. Pro likely going to be contempting this Isareth next turn. Let's really hope we get a shot in with this. Okay, brings his glow spore shaman back. Our bone's kind of giving us the beat down though. Like, oh yeah, the moment of craving. Alright, I think we've got to contempt this before my opponent, before that gets out of control. And then we're just kind of going to play tap lands until we hit something to do. <laughs> we got a removal spell we can hit, hold up. Oh, that's such a beating. Golgari Fine Broker. Looks like we already feel dead. I guess I could have waited on that, but... I don't want to take too much more damage. I think we had to kill we had to kill this thing. It just like sucks it. This is there they immediately punish us with this. How's it going, Teddy? Bring back Big V. I know, I know. We're trying the one from... This one got second in the PTQ. This deck does not... This deck doesn't really seem to know what it's doing. Yeah, they're going to play Vraska. We're good. This deck doesn't really... I don't really know if this deck knows what its, what its identity is. Because, like, 
I'm not gonna lie, I did just load it up, but when I saw like Thief of Sanity with Golden Demise in the main deck, like that seemed odd to me. That seemed like a should play Jessica Quest. Doesn't even play that. Yeah, so I was thinking about playing that. Yeah, I just wanted to take the one and two and not think about it. Yeah, like this seems so weird. Like, what is this? I'm a big fan of this card, but like that seems weird. I need to. I need to listen. I listened to part of the podcast last night. I haven't listened to it today. So I think we want everything that can deal with a planeswalker. We probably probably want don't need these dead weights, but we do want the spell pierce. I think it's a lot of fives. We do have twenty six lands. I almost want this too. So let's see. That card seems odd. I feel like I don't even want any of these any of this removal. We're getting these out of here. I almost don't want any of my removal, and I just want counter spells. Like I just want to be able to counter their planeswalkers. Maybe Golden Demise is worth it. I don't know. We're we're going down like a weird, weird road here. Because like, especially when I'm on the play, I almost think I can get away with like being super removal light. We can just bring in like another chup. And we might have to board in more removal on the draw, but on the play, we can just be like, get underneath of them, land a creature, like spell pierce or stroke your planeswalker, and then just kind of go to town. Plus, also like our dead weights and our cast downs don't do anything against that one creature we saw, like that Lazab dude. No, what was it? The one that brings creatures back. Oh yeah, I should have Dream Eater in because Dream Eater can reset a planeswalker at least. But like if the planeswalker's in play, is that already killing me? Or are we just like full beats on the play? Like we're just gonna go like Thought Eraser, into Sanity, into Nikki, then go to town. <clears throat> Uh, seems like exactly what we would want to be doing in the matchup if we had another land. We have 26 lands, so we have 24 left in the deck. And we have Notion Reigns, and we have... We have Notion Reign, we have the Surveil Discard spell, which wouldn't be bad. I think I'm going to mulligan, but, like, you keep this, Teddy. This is, like, exactly what we want to be doing in the matchup, I think. We have 24 lands up in the deck, Notion Reigns, and, yeah, whatever, we're going to keep it. I think this hand's, like, like, if we can just, like, get going, I think we're in good shape. But... Like we like we totally could just be on our on our deathbed here. All right. Land or an ocean rain next time would be sweet. Would take a thief of sanity. That's a good that's like the the like if we're not gonna draw a land, Notion Rain, or Thief of Sanity. That's that's what we want, I guess. So now we need a land. Land would be great. They milled over a Bloodfast. You know, our whole no removal plan isn't working. Assassin's Trophy. Memorial to Folly. Land. Come on. Shoot. Now we're dead. <coughs> I don't know. It's so greedy not mulliganing that. I don't know. Like we're and we're gonna if you we hit a land, we're gonna run this chupacabra out and like catch up, but then if they hit a planeswalker, we're just like, ugh.
I guess we hit hit this because if they have a fine broker, we'd rather them get this back. And at least make them commit to attacking. Like they can't remove this and attack. I guess if we hit land after land, we can just Eldest Reborn for the rest of the game. Oh, we're on team. Come on, attack me. So I'm actually going to, no, I'm not going to attack. I'm just going to deal with this. Hold this back. Like I, I could, I could attack it. They like, they might block, but then if they don't block and I, I'm forced to contempt it anyways, it's better for me if I have this back and they want to like press their advantage. Well, that's the thing that blows me out a little bit. Dream Eater leaves me so, like, Doom Whisperer leaves me so screwed to another Chupacabra that I think, I think we're just going to start getting this going. Because, like, we're so far behind. This dies, like, if I play this creature out, I'm at eight, they kill it, then I go to three. This puts me to five, and at least I can... Um, play another Elders like if the game go if the game actually drags on the Elders Reborn is gonna get me in it. That's not good. All right, so I just blew that up. I kind of want to play this another Elders Reborn. I could play Nikki. And have negate up, or I could edict, and then if they decide to pulse again, they got like Nikki negate. The problem with that is they just go like minus, play another creature, then I'm just dead. So let's just keep the board clear. And hopefully we. Hit well. We can either, we can go Nikki negate, and then we can bring something back that's hopefully going to like help stabilize us up, stabilize us a little bit. Okay, so they just so we got the Varaska off. We traded the Varaska for two. We traded Varaska, two of our Eldest Reborns, for two of their creatures and a Chupacabra. So we just we tied three for three, which like isn't awful. They're gonna have Jade Light Ranger back, so now we can play Nikki and have negate. They hit two lands. Now is Nikki plus negate better than Doom Whisperer? I think Nikki's better because like flipping Nikki next turn is pretty legit. I do really like that we got rid of that Baraska, but I wonder if they should have they probably could have gotten away with I don't know, maybe, maybe taking a more conservative line. Maybe keeping their Vraskas around at least for another turn. A Chupacabra is pretty feel bad for us, but. That's pretty solid for the home team. Oh, this is a Chupacabra. That Chupacabra kills us, I think. Well, not necessarily. We go to... We're going to go to one. This is where a card like Golden Demise would look pretty solid.
Come on, man. You gotta let me untap. Don't play a creature. Take a turn off. God. They put a memorial on top of their deck. I, I could have surveilled in my upkeep, but the only problem with that is that at least if I have to hit two creatures, like I need to hit two answers basically. Uh, that's another aspect of black green that makes it really hard to play against from the other side because they side like the black green deck sideboards into something where you want creature removal you want creature removal like you kind of want creature removal you kind of want creature counter spells like there's not a lot of matchups where you want both a card like ritual set and negate and that matchup feels like something where you want ritual suit, ritual set, and negate, which is just awkward. Yeah, we'll keep this. Seems pretty solid. Uh, we'll on this. Just a good hand on the play. I'm just go interact. Do this, set our draws. All right, let's hit this branchy boy. We can deal with a branch walker with the dead weight. So let's just get rid of this. Uh, put into your graveyard. We could have dealt with the Knight of Autumn. The Knight of Autumn might be annoying. There's a, but like we can't disrupt our opponent's curve really. The old branch walker. I guess I can go dead weight. Plus counter spell. I don't really want to just tap out in Ocean Rain. Well, now I'm just going to play this Thief of Sanity. And then we're going to figure it out. Because I think Thief of Sanity... I'm pretty sure Thief of Sanity is like how this deck wins. Like just playing this early and just riding it to card advantage. So here comes Branch Walker. I need to find King's Balls and let me play Belcher. That's what you got to do, Harry. Got to. Uh, we're not blocking him. You got to just believe in the Belcher. It's a pretty solid draw. So start by attacking. Don't disappoint. What pressure, dude. That's going to be good. So, do I want spot removal? I feel like I kind of want spot removal. Because now I can just take this. Trophy. Trophy plus negate. And then I can go notion rain plus dead weight. Yeah. Just get like the most mana efficient turn. And like that fine finality is, is likely like going to be very good at some point. But I don't really want to get rid of my uh, I don't want to get rid of my Thief of Sanity. Why wouldn't you cast down? Oh, that makes sense. Because I can use this for the rest of the game, right? This isn't like Night Veil Spectre, where it has to be alive. Um, Thief of Sanity is common as you play. Look at the top three cards of the library. Exile one three times. When you play them in your graveyard, you may also cast one card for a hand. As long as they're that out. Sweet. Okay. It's like Gaunti. Okay. Because this is like, what? This is like the remake of Night Veil Spectre, basically. And then we're going to go Notion Rain plus Dead Weight. Which is going to put us at 12. But we're going to be on a clear board. Maybe they did. Who knows?
Maybe we're gonna regret that fine. Not taking the fine finality, just the most powerful card. Okay. Now I kind of want to do this right now so that I can. Because I kind of want to do this. Because if I untap, go Notion Rain into an untapped land, I have their next play covered. Which will likely be the Knight of Autumn. Yeah, I'm, I'm going to do this. Now that we're like this here. No, so like what I want to do is I just want to go like Notion Rain, hit like an untapped land out of my next three cards, hit their next card, and then like be able to just untap on a clear board. Yeah, so now we go put into your graveyard put on top, we Essence Scatter their next play, untap Thought Erasure, and we, or we could just let it go through and dead light. All right, and there's Nikki. So now we like Essence Scatter their play, and if we hit a red source, play Nikki. And we're in a good spot. Well, yeah, so I'm going to... I'm going to deal with this Chupacabra with this Essence Scatter or this Thought Erasure. Now, if they top deck a Chupacabra, that's kind of feel bad. But I think that my line, like, plays around Fine Broker. Yeah, we're going to get rid of that. So we know the last two cards. There's Choop. Lazav becomes a copy of Thief of Sanity. So we're going to put that on top. That doesn't, I mean, it, it moves us a little further away from Nikki, but yeah. And I might just dead weight this Knight of Autumn just to like slow it down. And if I put this on top, if I actually, if I dead weight this and then play Lazab, Lazab can just block it. Oh, I should have, I forgot what's oh geez. Now, now I feel stupid, but whatever. We're not gonna compound our mistake. All right, you can get wild. I forgot this surveilled afterwards. All right, are we attacking with this, or are we holding back? We're only taking, like, one damage next turn. We're not blocking, and we're only taking one or two, so I think we're just going to get in there. No, I, I agree, Harry. I was just, like, making sure. Because theoretically, we can, like, I guess we, we can't surveil into something of theirs and copy it. Oh, baby. One, two, three. We're going to take this Knight of Autumn so that we just need to gain some life eventually. My opponent asked me if I can copy multiple creatures with Lazav. I think I can. Right? Does this keep the ability? 
It has this ability, yes. Thief of Sanity, yeah. Thief of, Thief of Sanity is just the blue-black three-drop Ojutai. Dude, Dragon Lord Ojutai was so sweet. In that it was just like you never, like, you, you only attacked with that card. Why didn't they attack? Like, you only ever blocked with that card if it was, like, dire straits. Now, the annoying part about this is because of their memorial, they actually can kind of block my... Um, oh, they just scooped it up. But the, the memorial can kind of actually nullify my... My... Whatever this thing is. Eldest Reborn. I have to get back my dead weight. Okay, so again, we don't want these golden demises. I think I like. I think I just like their grindy package. The golden demises, all their creatures are larger than that. So you want to negate. Because these hit like their things, their two for ones that kill our creatures. But, uh, but also, we're on the draw, so. I wonder if Doom Whisperer is too slow on the draw. Like, it is just huge. We probably can shave one. These counter spells are probably not great. So let's go like this. This can at least counter creatures. I want to keep it at least a little bit of removal while we're on the draw. And I think I want more cards like Chupacabra, especially when we are bringing in like our Eldest Reborns. So let's cut this. Let's cut one Thief as if we play Thief on three, it goes right into Chupacabra. Yeah, let's try this. We're going to bring in our other Thief on the, on the play. See that Tannin? We got a hit in. Got the W. We weren't an anomaly. I listened to uh, Cedric Phillips's basketball podcast today. It was pretty solid. I don't know if we have a lot of basketball fans here. Uh, we'll keep this. We have a removal spell, removal spell, and do a big boy to clean things up. All right, well, at least now we know Nikki's on. I'm going to murk that thing. I'm going to sandbag this red source. All right. All right, we don't need any more of those. We're gonna let them explore because by letting them explore, they might make their decision differently. So they kept wild growth on top. A two drop here would be gas. All right. Counter spell. I do like how efficient, at least in this game, the mana has felt super efficient. Oof. I right, take that back. That was brutal. I just have to play this chupa. The problem is, if I play this chupacabra, they're just going to land a bunch of stuff. So I'm going to play this tapped. Look to untap. Play this Doom Whisperer, and then Doom Whisperer just DT for what we're looking for. This was like a huge kick in the shorts here. 
I wonder if a deck like this, the problem is there, a deck like this wants something like Syncopate. We're just countering this because this is like their one of their engine cards. Oh. Was that good or was that good? Now this card is nuts. This card is nuts against every single deck probably but like green white tokens. It might not even be that bad against mono red. It might be too slow. It's probably too slow. All right, we will I will take it. They only got two cards left. They get the first untapped though, which is a little nerve-wracking. But Why there's so much less pressure now? We need to put a stop in our upkeep next turn. Because we're probably going to Doom Whisperer. We're going to get our DT on. They're finding. They return Wild Growth and Branchy Boy. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Now I just want to go Notion Rain into Chupacabra. Which is like a super efficient turn. Sometimes I like play passively by um put on your rage guard, put on your rage guard. By like looking to double spell more often. But I do like me, I think I think I've had like from playing like as much Death Shadow as I have, I think I just have like mana efficiency like ingrained into my brain. Okay, so we got a JD, a real slim JD. Okay. So we're not attacking because, like, we, we do want to go ham nation on this surveil. So we want to, we also want to be able to play defense. Like, basically, we just want to find Nikki. And that's what we're looking for. Like, Cast down, okay. Pay two life surveil two. Okay. Put on top. Put on top. Maybe I don't want that thief, but I guess if everything goes to shit, then I'm gonna want the thief of sanity. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So we can go Nikki and Content next turn, just like we drew it up. So here comes. This is likely. They, we know they got the JD, the JD boy. They're gonna trade off and find me. Now, find finality is this is a six drop. This is an eight drop, right? After that rule change. At least I think it is. That's fine. This didn't do anything with the last card. Oh, they had a trophy. Um, no, I think we want we want that thief of sanity. So we're gonna counter this fine broker. Next turn, play thief of sanity and contempt this J Light Ranger, and then hopefully the thief just brings it home for us. On the stack, it is an eight. So what is it on, on the stack? On the stack, it's two. Right? One, two, three. All right, we're going to take... 
We're going to take four. I might have been stupid because we're attacking. Right. I was worried they were going to play four mana Vraska there. Oh. Nikki. Oh, Nikki. You're so fine. You're so fine, you blow my mind. What do we get? We get a land. Nice. And we're, we're just going to gain four. We're not going to, like, make this thing huge. Game's not really about that. I hope they draw six mana, Nebraska. That's what you get for not playing your land. You're gonna contempt my Nikki? Oh, it shoots. Man. The greatest hits of a. All right. We want that. Brown you. All right, I want four of these in all of my Grixis decks, I think. Maybe not four of these might be overkill, but, like, Jesus Christ. This card is nuts. We played it, and it did stuff, and we won the game. All right, I'm going to run and grab myself some water. I'll be right back. Was a salt eye shadow deck. Or Delver of Secrets. The modern deck. Oh man. <coughs> oh man. All right. We're going to ship this. Keep this. Hey, buddy. You're tired, aren't you? Here for a nap. Come here to bed, silly boy. Dad, take me out so I can go to sleep. It's almost time for you to go out, buddy. Oh, modern Delver. So many people have, like, such special places in their heart for that card. And it just, like, doesn't do anything. Well, maybe not that it doesn't do anything, but that might be the wrong way to put it. But it's just, like, the supporting cast just is not great. All right. You take that back. I'm sorry, Tannen. Like, that card is just not a modern card. I'm sorry. Unfriended. It's just all gone. All right. Well, at least Nikki's going to get us a twofer. It's just all over. Hey, I'm a huge fan. I like Delver and Legacy. My first time ever playing Legacy. My friends bought my entry for SCG uh, DC because I got for a wedding present. Got 64th. My first ever Legacy match. I'm pretty proud of that one. Alright, we're just going to be mana efficient here. Like, we're just going to plow through these lava coils. 
Oh, did you? Are you kidding me? Okay. I'm gonna say you bastard. I own zero Delvers. And I'm okay with that. I don't lose. If I, if I played more Legacy, I would be sad. You know, I'm, I'm on the Grixis Control deck kick at the moment. I do like that deck a lot. So we need another bomb here. That was not what we were looking for. That was not what the doctor ordered. Oh god. Well, we just got so many cards in here that I just cannot beat. This guy just doesn't do anything, right? We don't play enough creatures for this to do anything. This Crackling Drake's like a 42, 48. And then this Wreck run me into the dirt. Play Nihon, right? Yeah. Okay. On time. Yes. This card's solid. Like, I, I hope this card like sees a lot of play in constructed. I think it's the best, at least the best constructed one out of the like XXYY cards. But now they're gonna draw two off this chemist of insight too. They still have the lava coil. So we don't even have like the dream of like Nikki flipping hitting this. <clears throat> Just going upstairs. You get another lightning strike. Shock. Yeah. You got it, bud. I got beat to a pulp there. He drew this sweet golden demise. Like I, I give this guy some serious props. Like, I mean, getting second in the Moto PTQ, like, that takes some serious. Like, that guy's got it. This guy's just got to be the best player ever if this is what he brought to the table. I think we want this because we can we can play on their end step. Cards we don't want. We don't want Golden Demise. Uh, cast Down is not great. Choops is what we're looking for. We aren't looking for Dead Weight. We want Negate. Bring this Contempt in. Sign me up, Buttercup. <clears throat> yeah, dude, like this guy's got to be an absolute beast. So I think I think this deck is like I think there's something to this deck. There's something to like, you know, on curve like Thought Eraser, Thief of Sanity, Nikki, Eldest Reborn. But I don't like that. Just a couple games in, I don't think that this is the right configuration for it. Like this hand, this hand is sweet. On the play, we're gonna go discard spell, discard spell. We're gonna hit a land, and then we're just gonna like grind them into the dust. 
and then into the doom. Like, we're just going to put lands on top with these thought erasers. And we're just going to out card quality our opponents. All right, well, just in case the first one doesn't work. We're shipping anything that's not a land with surveil. So I kind of just want to take the chemistry's insight, even though they can flash it back, it just makes it much worse. And if they want to combine these, this lightning strike plus shock to kill my Nikki after it hits a card, I'm cool with that. And hopefully they draw an actual God, this kills me. Hopefully they draw an actual card next turn. Because I'm just gonna thought erase them again, because I want to hit land number four. Okay. Now we can set this Thief of Sanity up to be the prize. I kind of just want to take the shot because it's efficient. God, those are two really solid cards that we're binning. It's odd that they play the mountain and not the eye. They probably just like misclicked. Oh god, that's gonna kill me. This is actually gonna kill me. I'm so dead. So dead. Didn't even think about this. Oh, that sucks. Well, at least we make them thief. The problem is we don't have a draw that kills this thing, right? Like, because look at how we sideboarded. Yeah, I just got got here. Like, if, if this is something where that if I play more and I have my head out of it, then this isn't going to happen. But, like, I just was like, oh, they can do the old switcheroo. And I got caught with the switcheroo. Because even if we'd have done our plan of curving into Nikki, like, yeah. I should have boarded these out for, um, and kept in at least a couple. Because, like, Cast Down also hits the Crackling Drake, so it's not, like, all awful. Yeah, that one was my, that game was my fault. That game was definitely my fault. Ugh, that's annoying. Yep, that was just, just all my fault. <clears throat> but you live and learn. It's been a good stream today. Three hours in? Three hours and 15 minutes. Got, got at least one more match. I think we're going to keep this. We're just going to, like, Ron. We're on the draw, and at least our removal, if we're playing an aggro deck, which we're not, so we just mulligan. All right, well, that's not bad. Really hope we can clear a way into this bolus and hope that there's just some way that we can get these dead weights to work to do something for us. Like if we ever, even if we two for one, if we can just turn these dead weights into something. Oh, my God. And then if our opponent plays another Electromancer, we can go Thought Eraser into Deadweight. I'm already a stag. Like, I feel like we can't lose. Against the blue-red deck, We t that's why I think this deck is like with Goblin Electromancer, which is not very good. Because you just made my game one card like trade with one of your engine cards. Like This is very good. That's why I think if you're going to play blue-red, you can't, you can't play Electromancer. You've got to play like four drakes and like two or three Niv-Mizzets. And then we're just gonna we're just gonna play into this counter spell. Because if they're not countering this, then if they're countering this, they're not countering Nikki. Oh, 
I almost don't want to play it because I would rather play this on their turn that they get to draw two. We don't have anything else going on. I think I'm just going to wait. Because, like, they're obviously just sitting on a bunch of um, ionizes and then chemistry's insights. Okay, so we're going to play it this turn because we don't want them to draw two. I should have done this the other way. I guess it doesn't really matter. Oh, it kind of does. Now they can just kill this. When on my turn, we do kind of hamstring their mana a little bit because they have to go deal with this and to kill this, or I still have a bolus in play. I don't think I can flip the bolus. I wonder if I can. Because this is like seven mana. Come on, what is going on here? I don't think I can flip it if Lazav is a copy of it. We have to exile Nicol Bolas, and if and if a token leaves, yeah, whatever. If a token leaves play, then it doesn't do it. It doesn't come back. Okay, so they got their insight turn. And I mean, worse comes to worse, if like if they do something here, then. I also should not play my land and make it so they didn't know I could flip Bolas, which likely doesn't matter, but um, it would be nice if I could get the ETV off the copy, but that's just not how that works. The fact that my Nikki's still alive is really good. Wow. This is wild. Let's do the spell pierce. So minus three. I think I'm just gonna kill this then. Because they're still gonna take two cards at least to kill this. And if they go like strike, strike, we can pierce. There's definitely, like I don't really wanna leave that thing alive. But there's a chance they can just like play a bunch of spells and then attack Nikki and burn it if it goes up to, uh, Shock. Yeah, we're just going to pierce this. Now, again, they need two more burn spells. What is the start? What's the starting loyalty on this? It just shows the current in the bottom. What is that? This, uh, Banefire for four. Okay. Another Nikki or Doom Whisperer. Come on. An Eldest Reborn. Do you think they play Spell Pierce? Put into your graveyard. Put into your graveyard. All right. Let's start by attacking. This is great because this actually makes the Thief Insanities awesome. I think I'm going to run both of them out there because even, even if they fire recannonade, um, they need another card to deal with this Lazav. What's going on, Johnny? Which they have. Oh, maybe this was stupid. Yeah, that was. 
Uh, we got three for two. Yeah, that was, I think that was dumb. Like, so I wanted to get my hits in with, because, like, there's so many ways this goes poorly for me. Okay, so let's just hope. Because, like, if I play one, they play a Crackling Drake. Oh, man. All of a sudden, like, I can't get in. And I'm in such a point where I would probably suicide one of mine in to get over a Crackling Drake. It's interesting they didn't flash out the chemistry's insight. So they're playing around another Pierce. On this deck? So I, ju I just took the second place deck from the Moto PTQ. I played Golgari earlier. <clears throat> and I think it's I think it's I think this one's pretty misbuilt. I think I would if I were to play this deck, I want four of these in my main deck. This card's nuts. It just lets you get away with having like so many issues in your deck. Like if you're a mid-range deck that just draws the wrong half, this thing just like completely fixes that issue. I want four and four of these though. Some four Nickies. I don't want I don't understand why he has these in their main deck with Thief of Sanity. Like this just blows my mind. I don't like this card. Search for Excanda, okay. Come on, Nikki. Nikki's in the house. Got rid of a shock. That means they must have. Oh, wow! Did they just not have another way to deal with this thing? Yeah, I think not playing four of these is also wild. Oh, you bastard! If I was my opponent, I would just be like main phasing this. I mean, I don't know if they have any instant speed or sorcery speed card draw or anything like that, but I'm a big fan of just, unless they have no instant, unless they're all instant speed, then no, but, and now we're just going to get buried by this Kanta. Yeah, we're, we're not going to get buried by... This is Kanta's just going to, like, run us out of the gym. Four and four, three down. One. What's Chewy? We want this. We want this. Let's get not caught by the old. I think this card's pretty bad. Also, Johnny. Oh, the Choops. The old Choops Magoops. We'll leave in enough cast downs to deal with uh, whatever that stupid thing is that we got run over by last time. The old war boss. Oh. oh, we got Moto's losing it. Yeah, I already know that from this deck, these have got to go. These have got to go. Nope, that's not how you spell it. This has got to go. Then, like, there's a couple more. Like, obviously, we can change a couple more things. But that's just, like, 
knee-jerk first reaction is that those have got to be changed. Yeah, the Eldest Reborn is really sweet. The fact that you can get cards out of your opponent's graveyard is awesome. The problem with Eldest Reborn is it's just a complete dud against probably Mono Red and Green White Tokens, which are two of the better decks in the format. Yeah, the old one land here. All right. <clears throat> yeah, well, you can kill Karn after board. I don't think that any deck is really great to red. I just think the red deck's very good. And you... you you're you're pretty poor, like I mean, unless you're just saying like you can't beat Green White game one, which if you load your deck up with Eldest Reborns and grindy elements, then you're not gonna beat Green White game one. Or if you just want to complete like you have to make a sideboard that has to be able to win games two and three. And that's a lot of like with how diverse things are now, especially considering like you need a completely different subset of cards for like Green white, mono red, and Golgari. Like you, none of those overlap. And you're not even ready for like random counter spells that you need for the mirror or to fairy decks. <clears throat> oh, my phone's playing so silly. How many spells do we have? We have 19 other spells. I definitely kind of want a way to pull ahead. I do want some of these. And then maybe you play like... You either got to play some number... I think you need to play like some number of searches somewhere. But like... Notion Rain. And then, like, I don't know, maybe, like, they just, like, we're not going to beat, like, we, we just have zero game against Control Game 1, probably. All right, the Reborn's not a bad draw, so let's check this out. All right, let's just take this stroke and we gotta put that into our graveyard, unfortunately. Like, I was really bad at it when I first started streaming. That was half the reason that I first started. Nick is hammered. They weren't even good against them, but it's solid against the rest. Well, Reborn's just absolutely... Reborn's pretty poor against red, right? Like, anything that's playing one-mana creatures, and then what's their bomb you're trying to hit with the sacrifice? Rekindling Phoenix? So I don't think Reborn is actually good anywhere. Or anywhere against red or green-white. I think it's good other places. Of a betrayer. Bloodfast is Bloodfast is sweet in its things that it's sweet. Now I feel stupid for leaving them with that negate, but like I wanted to be able to push through a nickel bolas, and that's why I took this. But I guess we're just gonna get to trading. Oh, well, when you say them, you have to say what you're looking to do there. I don't understand if you were talking about, because, like, your statement right above is, we're talking about green-white. Is that a different art? No. No, 
Let's yield with our radical ideas. What are you pausing for, bud? Oh, well, you gotta get it to, I didn't, couldn't tell what you were talking about. Like, the last thing that we were talking about was, and green white was a toss up. Oh, yes, you were talking about red right here. I missed this one. Yeah, the little multitasking here. You were talking about red, then referencing them. Yeah, that's my fault. That is my fault. <clears throat> yeah, depends on what percentage of the format is. Like if you're going to GP Minneapolis, right, Johnny? Or yield until next down step. Okay. All right, we hit a land. No, turn off auto yields. Turn off auto yields. Turn off auto yields. Okay. Yield to it this turn. Milwaukee. That's standard, right? That's in six or eight months, or not six, like three or four weeks, something like that. <clears throat> It really stinks that we don't have a spell to cast here because we know that they don't have. Well, we, I guess we don't know that they don't have a counter spell, but they're going to be able to chemistry's insight for free. That's what I've liked Notion Rain a lot more in this format than chemistry's insight because it's just so it's so expensive. And it's so clunky, and people can just play into your turn four turns. All right, see you later. I would like to build a control deck. All right, we're going to cash this in while we can. doesn't have a lot of targets. Though, I guess we could just wait and then hopefully hit a land for the Eldest Reborn. And then just do it on our turn. All right, let's draw a land. That's sad. <clears throat> so they cast this. They've got a mountain. That's the only card we know. But I'd like to put together an Esper deck that just doesn't play any insight and plays a lot more two mana and one mana interaction and plays Notion Reigns. Then when you get up to four, you get your Contempts and your Ritual Suits. Suits or Suts, whatever you want to say it. Just make sure you're not clogged up. Yield to this turn. Because we're going to get, get buried. Is an insight from their hand. Pitch probably pitch the. We know they have a mountain. I wonder what they're holding up on. And I guess maybe they feel like they're in the position where they're they can fight over draw spells, which means we're pretty much dead. Usually never fight over draw spells. All right, we're gonna contempt this with the trigger on. With them holding up three mana. It could suggest they have something like an Ionize. And if they decide to burn it here and we do hit our land, then we can reborn them. No, we're not, didn't get it there. Yield to this turn. And we're just going to jam this Doom Whisperer. <clears throat> we're going to get Ionized. There's not much we can do about that. I just pray they don't have a negate. Now it's gonna be now it's gonna be negate or ionize. Why 
One time. There's a big pause here. There's a really big pause. Okay. Yeah, we're gonna scoop this one up. <clears throat> I guess we can bring it back to the deck and then just look at it. Because I think that's one four in the league, one three in the league. I'm not I'm not looking to play very much more with this this deck here. But I do not think I do not think this deck the way it was configured was very good. Um, there's a couple different ways to build this. It's like, do you want to go more spell heavy with ritual suits, suits or whatever? Like Andrew Jessup. I guess we're going to turn the recording off here. <laughs> 